What's up guys? Welcome back to Spare Change. Here on this channel, we do a lot of home theater gear and of course, 4K Blu-ray reviews for home theater and movie enthusiasts. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And for review today, we have the long-awaited 1988 classic, Die Hard on 4K Blu-ray. I won't get into any plot details, but is this the greatest action movie of all time? I'm just going to give you my thoughts on the video and audio quality. Now for some tech specs. The movie was shot in 35mm. It's got a 4K DI. It's rated R. Runtime is 132 minutes. Aspect ratio is 239 by 1. So if you're watching on a television, you will get those black letterbox bars. Now for video quality, I didn't find too much of a difference between the iTunes 4K stream, which I recently reviewed up here, and this disc. But if you only own the standard Blu-ray version, I think you'll find that there is an increase in overall sharpness. It isn't a huge increase, but it does look better. Tight close-ups do have more details present, as well as a cleaner, tighter rendering of background and surrounding environments. The movie was also shot on film, so if you're a grain hater, there's plenty of it on display here. HDR usage does change the color palette by making everything seem a bit warmer, which skews a little bit on the orange side at times. Many of the bright highlights in Chapter 24, from lights to gunshots that seem to get clipped on the standard Blu-ray, is a bit more controlled here, with more detail being recovered, thanks to HDR's wider color gamut. Whites were cleaner and crisper, and highlights never got blinding or overbearing so HDR usage on this disc is a little bit on the mild side. Shadow detail, much like the iTunes version, does exhibit some black crush, as there were many times I found the black suits worn by the terrorists would blend right into the backgrounds. Even Al's black cop uniform would look like a large, dark, solid mass. Welcome to the party, pal! Audio was done in DTS HD 5.1, and just like the iTunes version, I thought it sounded pretty much the same, and sadly, no new immersive mix here. Soundstage I didn't find particularly wide and some of the effects can sound a bit underwhelming. There are some directional sounds in the shootout in chapter 40, but I thought the scene lacked in dynamics. Bass response in the explosion in chapter 48 hit hard and shook the room, but low end effects generally I felt was lacking as well. Dialogue was intelligible, but kind of short in the mid-range department. So for audio, I'm gonna go with a 7. I would have liked a new immersive mix for one of the best action movies ever, but it's just the same mix we've had for years, which sounds a bit dated now. For video, I'm gonna go with an 8. It's better than the 1080p version, and slightly better than the iTunes variant. And depending on the size of your display, you may not notice too much of an increase in resolution. There are a lot of softer parts in the movie, as it does have that soft film look at times, but HDR gives it a more pleasing presentation, and the overall image is more refined. Now if you're a fan of the series, I think it's the best this movie's gonna look, and definitely worth owning. I'll leave a link in the description down below if you want to pick up this disc. It does help out the channel by using those links, which helps us bring you more reviews like this. Now if you found the video useful, give us a thumbs up, and be sure to check out our social media links. And if you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. We'll see you guys again in the next one. Holy Jesus.